A bitter defamation lawsuit is now brewing between Johnny Depp and the American Civil Liberties Union, or the ACLU, after new documents revealed that the nonprofit's staff banned the explosive domestic violence op-ed at the center of the actor's $50 million libel suit against ex-wife Amber Heard. ACLU emails expose Amber Heard caught lying again. A trove of emails seen by Daily.com suggests Heard, 35, had minimal input in the December 2018 article which was written by the ACLU strategist, then submitted to her for approval. The draft went through multiple legal revisions with Heard's lawyer anxious not to mention Depp, 57, by name or breach a non-disclosure agreement with the former couple's $7 million divorce settlement. When it appeared in the Washington Post, Depp sued instead for libel, arguing the 1,000-word essay entitled, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath, was a clear reference to their failed marriage and falsely labeled him an abuser. Three years on, the ACLU involvement is threatening to drag the nonprofit deeper to the toxic lawsuit. Depp's lawyer sent it could even see them added as a defendant. This new trove of emails finally proves one of the things the ACLU has fought for years to hide. They wrote Amber Heard's false op-ed for her and work on conspirators with Ms. Heard's from the start, Depp's attorneys Ada Moldman told DailyMail.com. Those who scheme right and publish defamation, even perpetrated free speech advocates, are not immune from the consequences. The ACLU is already facing a May 28 deadline to respond to a barrage of subpoenas from Depp's legal team, who want to know if Heard ever honored a public 2016 pledge to donate half her divorce money, some $3.5 million to the vaunted civil rights group. And what do you know? Scamber Third gets caught lying yet again. This garbage subhuman claims she wrote it with ACLU's assistance, turns out she didn't write said blatantly false piece at all. She also claims it wasn't about JD when it clearly was. This on top of the countless other things she'd been caught lying about, under oath and is already under investigation for perjury and countless story changes. Hopefully this puts to bed. They were both mutually abusive, as if the photos taken of her hours later and the next day showing no bruises, police body cam scambers countless lies and story changes, and numerous witness statements didn't already spell it out. How much more proof do you freaking need? A multinational legal battles between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have just become a lot less charitable. As the one married Rom Diary co-stars inch towards a May 3 trial start and Depp's $50 million defamation suit against Heard, Claims have now re-emerged over whether the Aquaman star actually donated her $7 million 2016 divorce settlement to charity as promised. A clearly platted story in the UK's Daily Mail seems aimed to help get the Pirates of the Caribbean actor the new trial he is seeking against fellow tabloid The Sun over being labeled a wife beater in print. Mr. Depp's effort to plant stories in the media criticizing Amber for not yet fulfilling all the donations she pledged to charity is yet another desperate attempt to divert attention from the UK court's findings relating to allegations of Mr. Depp committing domestic abuse or violence. Heard's US attorney, Ellen Bradhoff, told Deadline in a statement after the mail story appeared online. While Depp initially handed over $100,000 of a promised $3.5 million to LA's Children's Hospital Foundation in Heard's name in 2016, a 2019 letter from the organization asks the actress if you have knowledge if CHLA should expect further installments on your behalf or if the pledge will not be fulfilled. Heard stated in the UK High Court last year and on various other occasions over the past few years that she donated the full $7 million to CHLA and the ACLQ after some initial hiccups in the agreement with her ex-husband. In fact, in his biting November 2020 decision against Depp in the libel case against the Rupert Murdoch-owned son, Judge Andrew Nicole made a distinct point of praising Heard as Team Depp sought to sully the motivations of the anti-domestic violence advocate. Her donation of the $7 million to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger, said High Court Judge, also asserting the son's claims against Depp was substantially true. However, today, Heard's lawyer in a Virginia-based defamation matter and her client's $100 million counterclaim 
did noticeably walk back the full extent of the actress's benefactions. Amber has already seen responsible for seven figures and donations to charitable causes and intends to continue to contribute and eventually fulfill her pledge, the Reston located Brad Hoft added. However, Amber has been delayed in that goal because Mr. Depp filed a lawsuit against her and consequently, she had been forced to spend millions of dollars defending Mr. Depp's false accusations against her, while implicitly confirming Depp's allegations that the donations weren't fully made Brad Huff's explanation actually further complicates the matter in another manner. Depp sued Heard for defamation in 2019, over two years after the divorce settlement. So what were the big box Heard had to play out to lawyers from 2017 to 2019? That question may now become pivotal and the UK having already seen one appeal attempt to go nowhere, as Depp UK lawyers want a new trial in part because the first trial's judge failed to properly assess her credibility by reference to documentary evidence photographs, recordings or otherwise. Judge Nicole concluded that the appellant was guilty of serious physical assaults without taking account of or even acknowledging that Ms. Heard had been untruthful in her evidence, without testing her account against the documentary evidence and the evidence of other witnesses and without making any findings that he disbelieved those witnesses. Barrister David Sherborne wrote to the appeals court on Christmas Eve. Deadline asked Heard's attorney Brad Huff if the fact that her client has not donated all of the $7 million settlement, as she has said, she has could impact either the US defamation cases or the UK matter. No, they have nothing to do with each other, the Charleston Brad Huff, Cohen and Brown PC partner replied. The ACLU did not reply to a request from Deadline on the state of Heard's donations. CHLA did, sort of. Due to circumstances of litigation, CHLA is legally precluded from sharing details about the case publicly, said a Children's Hospital Los Angeles spokesperson tonight. Representatives for Depp did not have a timely statement when contacted by Deadline. But Depp's longtime legal advisor Adam Waldman did respond online to Brad Huff's remark of Heard eventually fulfilling the donations by posting, Is that the same thing as a four year media spasm of the $7 million charitable donation? Is that the same thing that was said in the court under oath? No, it is not the same thing. Frequently mentioned in filings by Heard's lawyers and the Virginia cases, and no longer directly representing Depp and the matter. Waldman is currently being sought for a deposition that Heard's team say he's ducking. Just like Mr. Depp who refused to appear for his properly noticed deposition, Mr. Waldman appears or believe his court's clear rules respecting depositions do not apply to him, says a January 4 memorandum in opposition from Heard's attorneys to Team Depp's motion for a protective order.